Good afternoon. Hope you're having a great week. It is uh, Sunday evening, May 1st, and it is 7.14 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, local time here in the Portland area. I'm in uh, Aurora, Oregon right now. I delivered a load a couple hours ago in Portland. And then I drove over to the uh, TA in Troutdale, and man, that parking lot was full. I expected it to be fairly hard to find a spot, but I thought I'd be able to get a reserved spot at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But nope, all the reserved spots were taken. I parked in a reserved spot, and then I went in to pay for reserved, and they're like, oh, we're all sold out. I'm like, well, I'm parked in a spot right now. Are you saying I'm going to have to move? He's like, yeah, you're you're gonna get run out of that spot at some time tonight. I was like, damn, all right, thanks. And I went out there and started looking for another place to park. And about 30 minutes later, a TA person's walking down the reserved row with a clipboard and is uh running people out of spots and he got over to my truck and I got out and I told him, you know, Hey, I, I parked here and went in and tried to pay. And they told me you guys are all sold out. So I'm trying to find another place to go. And he told me that the TA in Aurora still had spots available. So they still had reserved spots. So I went ahead and reserved a spot on the app and now I'm driving to the TA in Aurora. And this is my exit right here. So I've already reserved the spot, so they there there should be one for me. <laughs> it was a thirty nine mile drive, and it was like twenty miles to go from where I delivered in Portland over to Troutdale, and then I basically had to come back to. Uh, same way that I, I came. All right. Don't try to pass me on the right people. All right. This man, this is hell. Can't hard to see around these turns. Some really sharp turns. So the load that I took to Portland was from Grand Prairie, Texas, Dallas, Texas. I should probably, it looks like there's another entrance down there. I should probably go in that one, but I don't want to drive down there and then find out that there's not an entrance down there and have to back down the road. All right. Uh, we have, where are the reserve spots? I've never been to this truck stop. There's people parked every damn where. So far, I have not seen a spot that's, that's marked reserved. Go ahead and take my seat belt off. All right, I see I see reserved. Oh man, it looks like it's almost straight back. So what the shit? Oh, that's reserved. Shit, yeah. Let's get that spot. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of reserved. I like that spot right there at the end. All right, wait a second. Uh, okay, I'm lined up for the wrong spot. <laughs> let's let's retry that. It's 
better to redo your setup than try to make a bad situation work. Almost look like I know what I'm doing. Almost. All right, I'm just going to go back. You know what? I'll, I'll pop you out. And we're going to go do a check to see. I don't like to back all the way into a spot without going back here and checking. Let's make sure there's no obstacles. There could be a damn light pole at the back of this spot. So we got a tire. I got my tandem slid way forward. We should be good. And uh, I don't think anybody's using this spot. This this the uh, shop is probably using the spot next to me. So we're good. And I don't need. You see the ABS light. This thing kicked on while I was driving down here. And I'm hoping it's going to kick back off. I might have to put this trailer in the shop. The, it was working fine whenever I drove it over to Troutdale. But on the way over here, ABS kicked on. This, the ABS, it gets real janky whenever a trailer sets for a while. But usually after you drive the trailer for a while... Um, the ABS will start working properly again. So I don't know. I'm not really wanting to put it into the shop yet. And one other thing with the trailer is it's missing a damn nut on the mud flap. You see, it's got, it's got everything here except the nut. And I don't think they're going to sell me just a nut. It's got almost new tires on everything. I had to peel a whole bunch of placards off of it. They left the placards on the trailer when they put it on the empty line. But, uh... Alright, oh, shit. How far back should I go? <laughs> I got to... I, I, I got sidetracked. One of the reasons I come back here is to check and make sure there are no obstacles. The other reason is uh, check and see how far I can back up. So I can basically back up as far as I want. Um, this tire right here is going to be an obstacle that I'll hit if I back across the yellow line. So... Is that my truck that shut off? No, that was not my truck. I was like, I don't have an idle shut off. What the hell is going on? All right, let's put you back in here and let's back up a couple more feet. All right, that should be good enough. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, and I think they have a Popeye's here. Yeah, 
I'm craving some damn that Popeye shrimp dinner. I'm going to go get some Popeyes and I'm going to swing by the shop and ask them if they sell the nuts uh, for the uh, mud flap mount kit. Um, and I also have to call Landstar trailer maintenance and ask them what the deal is on the DOT inspection on this trailer. Because let me take you back out and show you something. My APU kicked on. It has a sticker here that says that it was inspected April 4th of 2022. But the paperwork in the document holder, it's got two document holders. Paperwork in the document holder, the DOT inspection over there is for November of 2021. So I need to check with trailer maintenance and see if they have a record of the inspection on April 4th. And if they have a record of the inspection on April 4th, then I'm just going to go with it as is. If they don't, then I'm going to have to get a DOT inspection done on the trailer. And that'll solve the issue with the mud flap bolt. And they can also look at the ABS when they do it. Let me grab my wallet, my keys, and we'll go check stuff out. But, uh, yeah, I should not have to print out. Uh, I shouldn't have to get a printout for reserve parking because um, I filled it out. I paid for it online through the app, and in the app, you put in your truck number, your uh, DOT number, and your make or your uh, color, and your model or your, your make of truck or whatever. You put a whole bunch of information, so they can just look at their sheet and tell if you are reserved or not. So, uh, what else is there? There's a, so much stuff that's happened, uh, but I want to go in and get. Uh, this stuff taken care of. Um, what the hell? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about all the rest of the stuff in another video. Uh, maybe this will just be a really short video. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll just leave this video here. There's a ton of other stuff I wanted to talk about, but I would sit here for a half hour or more talking. And I want to go do a whole bunch of stuff right now. So I'll upload another video, hopefully in the near future, and talk about all the stuff that I want to talk about. So anyway, hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.